All right, Sophie's Revenge, part one. This is not quite an unboxing since it's already unboxed, but just to give folks an idea of what you're getting with Sophie's Revenge. All right, you got your bottom deck, your main deck, and then your aft deck for the captain's quarters and steering. Um, this is not quite in place. This is one of those bags over there it used to be this and it'll go here on the prow but if I let go of it it's still it's front heavy so it'll still have to get glued a bit more speaking of gluing I did some testing some of it obvious uh, or should be obviously uh, you know uh, not the best glue <laughs> um, also probably not the best choice um, but will be strong. But I did some testing with the plastic here. I'll show you in a second. Um, I really haven't examined the results yet as I put those things together last night and haven't tried to pull them apart yet. But we got the masts. They've got these uh, magnets at the bottom. They're pretty strong. Everyone's shown these already, but uh, let's see. Somewhere around here, there it is. There it is. You definitely caught that snap into place, right? So, um, for a painted project, which I will do, and that'll be a future part, sometime, you know, part two, part seven, don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I expect I'm going to try and put like felt or something to soften the blow of those magnets. All right, let me widen my stand out here a little bit and grab a hold of stuff. So, just. Right old PVA glue, white glue. And this is from sprues from the parts that I already put together a little bit there on the prow. Uh, and it's, it's, it's got a, it holds actually pretty well. Um, that's uh, you know, a little surprising. Uh, let's see, breaks apart pretty easily though, um, you know, with a, a bit of pressure. Uh, but I would expect pretty much any of this to break apart pretty easily with just this one point of contact. Uh, the Gorilla Glue, uh, as anyone who's ever used it before knows, it expands, and that's what's going to make it really not a good, good option for uh, this uh, for this kind of thing. Um, but it definitely holds well, and it is not as easy to break apart. Um, but you know, you get this this mess that it creates that you'll have to clean up. Uh, or attempt to clean up afterwards. <laughs> I'm gonna get to this uh, tester's glue that I've uh, had around for a while uh, in just a moment, as uh, I think that is probably the worst option. Um, but I wanna do a direct comparison on these cannons here, uh, see if maybe over the course of a couple of more days since the last time I tried the cannons out, which was the first testing that I did, just to see if this would do any good on uh, this kind of project or not. Um, didn't go out so well. So let's, uh, it's about your, your typical 99 cent for a four pack or your $4 for a four pack of super glue at, you know, this is Ace brand. Oh, so it leaked down onto this plastic bag and it uh, stays much better to the plastic bag than it does to each other uh, as it is not gonna let go of that. Uh, this is a piece that got a little bit more bonding area as I got this uh, flat area to work with um, and it holds really good uh, and it is not breaking well there you know it's it stayed on pretty good um, but it, it of course had more area for the glue um, for uh, any of the other tests and compare it to the testers which I found to be you know, a little bit rubbery for the bond. You know, it's like flexible, which has its advantages for impact, you know, and it's, it's sticking, but it's, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's somewhat melted, but it's definitely not cured. And that's, you know, 24 hours ago. This is even longer than 24 hours ago. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a good shot of the inside of this. But the cannons are two pieces. Um, and uh, yeah, 
that's not not gonna focus in too well, I don't think. To oh, there we go. That's a pretty good shot of some of the goop on the inside. Um, but it still it still pulls apart pretty easily, um, which isn't horrible. But I mean, it's, you might as well not have the glue. It actually fits together. Here's a here's the bag. You can grab a couple of pieces here, and just dry fit and. You know the shape; it kind of only goes in one way, really, and a dry fit holds together pretty well. So you know, there's no point in even using that for this part. Um, whereas the super glue, it holds together. I'm not going to try too hard to pull it out, but you know, give it some some good pulling, and it's not coming apart. I'm sure I could break it, um, but you know, that's not really the point. So. <clears throat> Glue testing uh, for any of this that you actually want to stay together. And I say that because I haven't cleaned these up yet. The edges, I just took them off the sprues, so that needs to be cleaned up still. But this port is supposed to be something that you can open and close. Maybe that's uh, something I'll feature a bit more. You know, maybe, I can, maybe I can get one quick example. Focus, but can't get it to stabilize without me holding it. There, there we go. So, uh, it'll pop in there. It's so in, and it opens and closes, uh, which can be a neat feature. Um, you know, with paints, uh, not so sure. Uh, you know, how often you want to be doing that. <laughs> it will certainly rub, um, but. Uh, it holds together pretty well and it should be able to be something you can even take off and on if you really want to. Um, I don't intend to glue it on, so not all parts are going to be glued by any means. And of course these are going to be magnet, uh, you know, these magnets to keep them on. So uh, more videos in the future on Sophie's Revenge as I get more progress. But uh, for anything that I am going to glue, I am sticking with normal super glue. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.